What's up guys, today I've got my hands on a new super rugged smartphone with a built-in laser projector, massive battery life and a 108 megapixel primary camera. This is the 8849 Tank 2 by Unihertz. So let me explain, 8849 is the brand new brand name introduced by Unihertz covering rugged technology products and the first one they are launching under the 8849 brand name is the Tank 2. Now you can pick this up right now for only 339 US dollars. This is a world premiere special offer which ends 11th of June. Links are in the description box for your convenience. Now the normal price thereafter is 590 US or 495 in the UK. So here it is guys, the powerful looking 8849 Tank 2 rugged smartphone. Now let's talk about the design. The phone is made from a combination of metal and rubberized plastic. It's a tough rugged smartphone, waterproof and shockproof and does feel quite big and bulky in the hands. The phone has a thickness of 23.5 millimeters and it weighs 531 grams. For ports at the bottom we have type C port and headphone jack and a watertight latch to cover the ports. Now on the side we have a dual hybrid SIM tray which can take two 5G nano SIMs and a micro SD card at the same time. And just underneath you have a power button and fingerprint reader in one. On the other side you will find a volume rocker and two more buttons, a red and silver button which can be customized to open any app you like. At the top of the phone you will see your unique projector lens. So this is a laser projector, 720p native resolution, 40 lumens maximum brightness and an 80,000 to 1 contrast ratio and I'll show you this in action shortly. Now on the back of the phone we have a triple camera setup that's 108 megapixel primary, 64 megapixel night vision and a 16 megapixel wide angle lens and on the front we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Now let's quickly check out what you get inside the box. So you'll find your paperwork, Type-C to Type-C charging cable and a 66 watt fast charger. Now let's talk about the display. On the front we have a 6.79 inch Full HD Plus IPS display that's Full HD Plus resolution of 1080 by 2460 and with 2.5D glass. Bezels are quite apparent but that is quite normal with nearly all rugged smartphones. It's designed to be big, strong and rugged. Now the Tank 2 is powered by the MediaTek 6789 octa-core clocked at 2.2 GHz. Now this is quite an old chipset, certainly not expected in 2023. It will still run and play nearly any app from the Play Store including COD Mobile. But saying that, there are many other options available um, in terms of mid-range chipsets that they could have picked uh, instead of the old MediaTek 6789. Now just for testing sake, let's take a look at the COD Mobile graphics settings. So you can see maximum supported graphics is medium and the maximum frame rate is high. So let's go ahead and check out some gameplay. Now this is not by any means a gaming phone and I don't expect anyone's going to buy this phone to play games on it due to the sheer size and weight of this phone but I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised that COD Mobile plays quite smooth on this phone. Alright so I guess it's time to check out the laser projector. To activate it all you do is swipe down from the top and select the projector shortcut. The projector will then take around four to five seconds to power itself on and then the projector will mirror your phone screen. Now from a distance of one meter, the projector will give you a screen size of around 32 inches. Also, the projector requires no focus adjustment as the laser technology keeps the image always in focus regardless of the projection size. Now if you want a bigger screen size, just increase the distance between the wall and the projector. So now with the increased distance of 2 meters, we now have a screen size of just over 60 inches. And the 720p picture quality is actually not bad for a tiny smartphone laser projector. And while I'm at it, let's do a quick daytime test. So switching on the light and you can see that the picture quality is now barely visible. So to enjoy this projector, the light needs to be off and the room should be as dark as possible. Now the built-in PA speaker is also nice and loud and great for watching your favorite movie collection. I'm actually very impressed by what this laser projector can do. Now here's a quick walkthrough of the camera menus. So we have time-lapse, night, video, photo mode, portrait mode, 
and under more you will find QR code, pro mode and your 64 megapixel infrared camera which means you can take photos in total darkness. So here are some photo samples for you guys to check out. These are simple point and shoot shots and overall I am quite pleased with the results. Now this phone can also shoot 2K resolution video with electronic image stabilization and here is a quick video sample and I must say it's not bad at all. It's not the smoothest stabilization I've ever seen but the video quality and stabilization is actually not bad for what it is. Furthermore, the battery capacity is a whopping 15,500 milliamp hours and it's designed to give you a massive 78 day standby. And also this does support 66 watt fast charging and the charger is included in the box. Furthermore, this phone is running a pretty stock like Android 13 with Google Apps and Play Store included, giving you a pretty good stock like Android experience with very little or no bloatware included. Now let's check out the system and benchmark information. Now another cool feature to mention are the camping lights on the back. You can select cold LED or warm LEDs or you can have both LEDs on at the same time. There are also options for brightness levels and you've got SOS emergency mode as well. Really powerful and bright camping lights included on the phone. Now let's check out the system and benchmark info. DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3. And here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see we are indeed running the Mali G57. So that brings us to our benchmarks, starting off with Geekbench single core score of 721 and multi-core score of 1980. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 393K. And to give you an idea of how powerful this smartphone is compared to the other latest smartphones of this year, here is my top smartphone performance chart of 2023, showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. And all smartphones are ranked by benchmark performance scores. So higher the scores, higher the phone ranks and faster the performance of the phone you can expect. So as you can see, the 8849 Tank 2 has taken position 28 on this chart with a benchmark score of 393k. And as usual, I will be constantly updating this chart. And to see the most recent, head over to chickstech.com to read it at your leisure and of course completely free of charge. So there you have it guys, that was the 8849 Tank 2 by Unihertz. But I like to call this one the projector phone. And I have to say, this is one of the most interesting smartphones I have tested this year. Having a laser projector built into your smartphone is a pretty futuristic idea, let alone actually made and implemented so well. I thought this was just going to be a gimmick feature, but no, this is a pretty good 720p laser projector inside this phone. I've already copied my favorite movies to the internal storage, and I've also added a micro SD card full of media content. This is an amazing smartphone, waterproof, shockproof, super tough and rugged, along with decent cameras and overall performance is actually not bad. I was actually able to play COD Mobile at pretty decent speeds. Now, I would have loved a more recent mid-range Snapdragon performance in this phone, but I am happy to compromise on the chipset based on how good that projector quality is. Now you have till the 11th of June to pick up the projector phone at a reduced special offer of 339 US dollars and the price goes up thereafter. So act fast if you want this. Hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like and sub. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.